Understanding the phrase, boiling with rage, a guide to expressive English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the world of idiomatic expressions. Specifically, we'll explore the phrase, boiling with rage. This is a vivid expression used to describe a very strong emotion. Let's break it down together and understand how and when you can use this phrase in English. Boiling with rage is an idiomatic expression used in the English language to describe a person who is extremely angry. The word boiling is key here, as it literally refers to a liquid being heated until it bubbles and turns to vapor. When applied to the emotion of rage, it creates a powerful image of anger that is so intense. It's as if it could bubble over like boiling water. The phrase, boiling with rage, likely comes from the physical signs of extreme anger. When someone is very angry, their body might show signs similar to water boiling. Redness of face, increased body temperature, and sometimes shaking or trembling. This metaphorical use of boiling illustrates the intensity of the emotion. 1. Context. This phrase is often used to describe extreme anger in a dramatic or serious situation. It's not typically used for minor annoyances. 2. Examples. 3. After hearing the unfair verdict, the defendant was boiling with rage. 4. She was boiling with rage when she found out her brother had lied to her. 5. Cautions. Be careful when using this phrase, as it denotes a very high level of anger. It might not be suitable for casual or light-hearted conversations. Seething with anger. This also means very angry, but with a focus on trying to contain that anger. Fuming, like boiling with rage, it indicates visible signs of anger. Burning with anger, similar to boiling with rage, but might imply a more controlled, yet intense, anger. Boiling with rage is a great example of how English uses vivid imagery to express emotions. Remember, idiomatic expressions like this one add color and depth to our language. They can be very powerful in conveying feelings, but always consider the context in which you use them. We hope this video helps you understand and use boiling with rage appropriately. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.